welcome to TC Music, another night of Minneapolis Twin Cities music, live from MTN Studios, Studio A at 125 Southeast Main Street. If you're interested, come on down. We've got a great show for you. Iguana will be here. I am Nell Harrison, standing in for Mr. Swizzo, who will be out here in a minute. But prior to starting the show tonight, we have a little bit of a sad... Uh, a little bit of sad news to report here in the Twin Cities. Uh, Bill Hinckley passed away a few days ago. Um, he was known uh, throughout the area as a wonderful artist and musician. And um, prior to starting the show, we're going to do a little tribute to Bill. So without further ado, let's go to Cedar Cultural Center, I believe. TC Music was on site and filming this, and Bill Hinckley. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, and thank you, Bill. That was the sorry mothers. Another sad note in a year in which we lost Bruce and Vic, Alex Chilton, and now, sadly, Bill as well. But 
that just goes to show that being here with the music and being out there with the music is always something to do. You never know when it'll be the last chance you get. And we're so glad that we have so many fine opportunities right here in our area. Coming up within the next week, we have a blues fest in Minneapolis at PV Plaza. We have a jazz fest in St. Paul at Mears Park. And if you wish to celebrate a Prince anniversary, a week from Friday down at a place called Aloft in Minneapolis, there will be a long string of Prince Records uh, free mix CD giveaways drink specials, all kinds of fun. That's at Aloft on the 4th of June. In the next few weeks, check Patrick's Cabaret online. They are having their summer film festival, and there's something for everybody in the parking lot at Patrick's Cabaret in South Minneapolis. For those of you who like your music a little different, at the Heights Theater, they have been having a Sunday series of opera. And this Sunday, it's going to be Aida. Right now, boys and girls, for those of you with big ears and those of you with little ears, be prepared. They are about to be pinned back by some people that perhaps we should have come down to the Blind Lizard Rally come this next Father's Day. Please welcome the iguanas.
your time to get a little loose Right now you've got to move your feet, little man It's time to get a little loose Right now you've got to move your feet, little man It's time to get a little loose Right now you've got to move your feet, little man It's time to get a little loose Right now you've got to move your feet, little man Is it okay? Is it is it okay working with a drummer like that? I was dying. Where did you find him in the lizard den? Uh huh. Is it is this where we all come from? That is where we all come from. It's a good place, isn't it, boys and girls? I just wanted to mention one thing that was forgotten in all of our excitement. For those of you who are watching this right now and have friends outside of the MTN broadcast area, call them right now and let them know that you can see this live. As it happens, on the internet, we are now being simulcast on tcmusic.org. You can see us everywhere, and that means you can see Iguana. You know, I'm a kind of power pop guy myself, but when it's good, I will not deny it, and this is metal even a little wimp like me could love. Where do you get this? How long have you been at it? Let's start with that. It's actually been a real long time. Well, you picked up a few tricks on the way, and one of them that I really like is that this is not... This is not wanker music. This is real songs. This is add three guys together and come up with more power than three guys. That's exactly what it is. It's three guys, three lizards, putting our heads together and making things come alive. And you do that for sure. Where... Do you wind up doing this besides on TC Music? Uh, we do it um, all over the place. We've got Lizard Dens in Fargo, Mini Lizardapolis, St. Paul, Hastings, uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Madison, Hollywood, all over the world, actually. You spend a lot of time driving? With my fingers. Aha. Uh -huh. So you are in charge? Who's in charge of all of this? No one. I like that. It was one of the great things that I love about R.E.M. If you take a look at the credits for their songwriting, their names are all on all of the songs. It's a group effort. Are, is Iguana a group effort? Has been and always will be a group effort. Has it been... The same three lizards all the time? It has, yeah, absolutely. It's been the three lizards. We uh, came together in a small town in Wisconsin at Halloween and seen two other lizards up there, and we decided to say, hey, let's, let's try jamming once, and the people like the lizard sound, so we continued. <laughs> it has been productive indeed. I have to ask one of my regular type questions. Who is, or who are your drum gods? I like them all, man. Uh, a couple of 
drummers that really inspired me, I guess, along the way it would be like uh, Tommy Lee, John Bonham, uh, Phil Rudd, some of the, you know, just in the trench, fucking hard rock drummers, you know. Uh, I tend to like guys that are a little more simple, you know, than fast and, and you know, you know, beating themselves up trying to get a song out or whatever. But uh, uh, there's a few of them for you. It really shows in that solo. That was taste. That's not that's not wanker stuff. That's that's somebody that's just bashing. How long did it take you to find that snare? Uh, man, I've had this drum set for a while. Came with the drum set, you know. Uh, so that's the deal, man. I've had it for as long as I've had the drum set. <laughs> did it take you a long time to get it to sound like that, or did it arrive that way? Um, you know, I could put a little personal touch on everything, you know, so it's got a little rock Lexington built into it. <laughs> well, good for you. It certainly works as far as I'm concerned. A quick moment with the bass player. I finally broke down and bought a five string. How long have you been using that low B? It's so long ago, I can't remember. Over 10 years. You got the first one you could get. That's right. I've been playing it ever since. Well, you do it well. Thank you for hauling all of that in. When can we next see Iguana live? That would be a better question for Mr. Doc Lexington. Doc. Doc. How many Lexingtons do we have? Three. It's always been three since we've been born from the egg. Okay. Well, when's the next time we get to see the lizards together? September 10th, Station 4 in St. Paul, Minnesota. We also have a uh, sort of a block party in Hastings, Minnesota on July 24th. And then uh, we're also playing a charity event in Chicago. Um, when is that one? September 28th, I think, something like that. Is there perhaps any sort of internet presence uh, where people can check for all of these dates instead of having to remember them right now? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to iguanarules.com. You can, we got a couple of different MySpace pages, Reverb Nation. Uh, we got a bunch of different pages. They all list the dates and times and uh, come out and check us out. So throw, throw Iguana Rock Band into your favorite search engine and a lot of stuff pops up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any steaming slabs of wax for our, for our fans? Come again. As in, are, are, are there any recordings available? There is. You can actually go to CD Baby, um, order it right online, or you can uh, just get it directly through CD Baby, um, a digital download or an actual CD itself, or uh, just contact us through our email address, which is iguanarules at yahoo.com. Pretty easy. And we will sign those as well. Autographed copies. Well, uh, you know, just to make a just to make a little tour of the outlying areas on the twenty. Did you say it's when's the Hastings? Hastings is July twenty fourth, which is one day after Lumberjack Days in Stillwater. And there's going to be something very special this year at Lumberjack Days. Maybe we'll talk more about that later. But right now, right now. Can you make our eardrums bleed just a little more for a while here? Ladies and gentlemen, Iguana!
fait long Here we go, off on our knees again We're part of our new way We finally found the place that we belong
Shed your skin. Shed your skin.
song. It's called You Don't Know Me.